So today, I'm gonna replace the wheel bearing on this side. I did the other side already, but I'm gonna replace it on this side now. You know, like I would think the easiest way to remove these is using a impact wrench. But if you don't have one, then you can just use a breaker, a breaker bar. But anyway, I already got it off. <clears throat> so the next thing I want to do, well, I will need to remove these two bolts to remove the, uh, so I can remove the the um, the knuckle. And then I don't need to remove this. But I also want to um, remove the whole caliper assembly. Like I think this bolt and the one that's the other one on the back. The whole caliper. I need to remove the whole caliper. So yeah. So I already removed the, the loosened the, the two big bolts. So I can remove the whole caliper, the entire assembly. Once we get it off, we could hang it up on here, like on here somewhere, but gotta secure it so it's not gonna fall. Cause you don't want the brake line to get harmed, you know? Well, I gotta put zip ties or something. Put a zip tie or something. And then the rotor comes out. <clears throat> so it's already almost ready to go. I mean, this bearing, I got the axle loose already. And then, um, I just gotta remove, I gotta remove this so that way it can have clearance. Clearance so I could pull out the, so that way I could pull out the axle. And then, and then I'll be able to remove the bearing, but. Well, I gotta remove these bolts that hold the bearing. And so what I do, I get one of these wrenches. These bolts that hold the bearing in place. <clears throat> and then what I do is I just get the hammer. Just get a hammer and whack it right there. So that way it could come loose. And it's coming loose. Well, along the way, you could be turning, turning the wheels. You could turn the wheels right and left to make it easier to access some of these bolts and stuff. So I have to access two more over here. So I turn the wheel this way so it could be easier to access it. Well, while, you know what, while we're doing this, we could just push the axle with our finger as far as it can go so that it can have more clearance to remove these bolts by hand if we have to. Okay, now that I got all four of them out, I got all four of these out without even removing anything else. I mean, now I could just take it out with the hammer. I mean, well, I know I could whack it out and see how it's coming loose already. I could get a screwdriver or I could just whack the thing out with the hammer. So, combination of whacking it out with the hammer and using a screwdriver, I'm able to take it out. It's gonna come off. Like, gotta do evenly, gotta do this evenly on all four sides of this. She's already coming out. So, this side. See that came out you know I, I did all this without removing all this stuff here yeah I don't I apparently I didn't even realize that I didn't have to even, even remove all it well because with some cars it does it allows us to do that with some cars but apparently with some cars though, I mean you have to remove the entire spindle and remove the and remove the bearing you know because like the edge, for an example, I had to do that, but with these cars, they come as an assembly like this, where you just buy the bearing, and it's simple. This was 30 bucks, by the way, on eBay. Apparently, the new one goes on simple, very simple, very easy, yeah. <clears throat> now, when retightening all the bolts for here, since this bearing is not in all the way, you're only supposed to, you're supposed to tighten these bolts little by little on each side 
you gotta go a little bit like maybe three or four turns on this side and then three and four turns on this side and then three or four turns on this side and this side as well that way the bearing is gonna go in there evenly because if you're gonna try to do one if you're gonna try to fully insert the screw or the bolt all the way it's gonna be tilted it's gonna be tilted and it could get stuck and it can make it really difficult to remove it or to get it unstuck so you want to be sure that you only do like three or four turns on each bolt at a time one bolt at a time to make sure it goes that uh, make sure that the bearing goes in evenly on all uh, on all the whole side of the bearing well after you got them all in there making sure that everything is even so i got this bearing in there doing the tightening all bolts evenly so it's all good this so now i'm practically done already yeah now that i have it in there i could get the bolt the the, the um axle in here now you know what <clears throat> one thing you have to make a note on you have to make sure that the bolt is on all the way gonna make sure that the axle is bolted on all the way make sure because if it's not then it's gonna it could ruin the bearing because it's dependent on the axle like to actually to actually press on the bearing or to hold on the bearing so to speak so I gotta make sure that it's in there all the way. Yeah. So I'm already practically done here. I'm done practically. Yeah. Just make sure that all the bolts are tightened. Use a hammer to, to use a hammer to hammer it down if you have to. Hammer this down. And so it's done already. I just have to put the nut on. But making sure that the axle is on all the way though and when you tighten the lug nut the nut you just make sure that you punch in the area to lock it you know punch in the area I have to do a better job before i put it on now to put the rotor on If you want, put a lug nut so I can hold the rotor in place, so that way you can slide this caliper back in there. So I slid it in there. Apparently, I'm done already. I'm done. I'm done already. You know, this job took me like maybe 20 minutes to do. 20 minutes, literally like 20 minutes. So now I'm going to put the wheel back on and it's ready to go. Already. Okay, put the wheel on. Down it goes. Then I want to test drive the car to check the bearing noise. Because I had bearing noise on this side. I replaced the other side, like I said. That side it was really bad. But now this side, I mean, it was making noise, but it was not as loud. But decided to replace it it was only 30 bucks i mean 30 bucks for that part on ebay yeah it's, it's pretty much free 30 dollars is free i mean these days i mean i only had to work about an hour and a half for that part or i mean or if it was overtime in my job i only had to work one hour to get the part so yeah Telling me. Oops. So yeah. Anyways, now to put everything away now. Gotta put everything away. Leaving me with just this old bearing. There it is. This is the old one. And I put the new one on already. So I'm gonna drive it around right now. So I gotta test drive the car. So I hope you liked this video, which took less than 10 minutes to make. And it literally took me like 20 minutes to do that. After having discovered that I could just remove the bearing without removing all that stuff. Because of the way, the way it's bolted on, it allowed me to do that. 
So, but apparently we're not, we're not all cars would be able to do that because this would apply for California cars or areas that don't that have rust. Because if you have if you live in an area with rust, where cars get rusty, you probably will have to like you'll have to fight it off. You'll have to fight to get the bearing out. So it may not work with you guys, unfortunately. But this is a California car, so I mean. The bearing came out like no problem because there's no problem with the rust. Well, anyway, I hope you liked this video. And you got to check out the rest of my videos. They're all old school videos. All right. See you on the next video.